So I've seen this thing. Pop Smoke is no more unreleased music left to release. And this is a DM exchange. Now, I don't know who's DMing the person, but they're DMing Rico Beats, which is a producer. And he worked a lot with uh, Pop Smoke. Uh, Rico, please give us some news on plans for Pop's remaining music. He has no music left. Sad face. I mean, hey. What else you want? Pop Smoke died three years ago. How much more music you think he did in one year? Y'all gotta be real. None of the snippets with Guapo or the one with Mike D played will ever come out. I know he was a beast, but you can't expect much more. All them records they use chip so many ways his so many ways his vocals. If Pop was alive, he would not approve 99% of the stuff they put out. Now look. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people, um, I know a lot of people like the albums, the, the posthumous albums that we dropping. Okay. I know a lot of people like when the person died and then they hear their voice again because it was their favorite rapper. I get it. I mean, this goes way back. This goes back to Biggie and Tupac. When when Biggie died, they dropped Life After Death not too long after he died. Okay? Um, so this is not a new thing. This is very, very, very normal. In recent times, we saw this happen and get milked out massively with Juice World. Okay? Juice World, it almost feels like he had a whole nother side of his music after he died. Okay? So... I honestly don't want to hear no um, posthumous albums. I honestly don't. I honestly don't want to hear um, music that wasn't perfected by the artist or, or you know, like there's a lot of artists that they make these songs and they're just ideas. They don't ever want to put them out. But now that they're dead, this is all that they've got. So they got to put it out. They're going to make it work. They're just going to, okay, he only did a hook and a verse. So we're going to flood the other parts with Alice from someone else. And we're going to go ahead and throw on another person who he probably would have never wanted to work with on this song. Personally, I don't like posthumous albums. I don't really agree with it too much. You know, if the album was about to release and then the artist died on, you know, kind of like how Biggie, you know, with Biggie, um, he was about to release Life After Death. That was the album. And then he died. But the album was done. So they released it. You know what I mean? Um, if I'm not mistaken on the timeline, Pop Smoke's album, he died. The album was done. They dropped it. Then they dropped another album. And that second album was purely ideas. It was not. I mean, fuck, bro. They had Dua Lipa on a song. Since when was he supposed to do a song with Dua Lipa? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, man, I, I'm not trying to hear this. I'm not trying to hear that. Bro, I'm not the biggest Mac Miller fan in the world, but I was a Mac Miller fan. He, his album came out. I vividly remember everybody saying, Mac Miller who? Mac Miller who? Because he dropped the same day as Astroworld. Let's not forget about that, guys. Yes, he dropped the same day as Astroworld, and everybody was clowning him, okay? Then he passed away. Then they dropped Circles. That was the name of the album, right? Yeah, Circles. I, I believe it was Circles. The album that came out after he died. I think I can speak for everyone here when I say that that was a very hard album to listen to because Mans was dead, bro. It was hard to get through it. Um, Look, man. All I'm saying is these whole posthumous album things... They, I'd like it if when the artist died, whatever he approved on or she approved on and whatever was done gets released. But all the other stuff where they're they're bringing this over here, bringing that over here to try to make a word and try to make a verse out of this last verse. And out of these ideas, we're going to make a song. It's like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. You know, let the artist do what he wants with his music. And when he passes on, fulfill the artist's wishes. That's what his fans would want. But then there are some needy fans who would just want everything and anything. So you got to find that middle ground, man. You got to find that balance. But let's keep it pushing. Let's move on. Let's move on. We got a lot of topics today, guys. A lot of topics. I didn't cover video all weekend, unfortunately. So we got a lot to talk about.